Good evening, my name's Alex Campbell and you're watching the 12th episode of Dissecting Trek. On this episode, I'll be dissecting the Corbinite Maneuver, one of the greatest episodes of the original series. Fire main bases! In the opening scene of this episode, the Enterprise encounters an object much like a Rubik's Cube floating in the middle of space. They try to avoid this Rubik's Cube, but it follows them and blocks their path. Bailey, one of the crew members, starts to become frantic at this moment, but Spock shoots him down in a calm yet badass manner. It's blocking the way. Quite unnecessary to raise your voice, Mr. Bailey. All engines stop. Sound the alert. After the opening credits, it cuts to Bones giving Kirk a physical and he's testing his heart rate and pulse and blood pressure by making him move these things into the wall with his legs. Check it out. I got some more. That's a boy, keep it up. Work up a little sweat, you do your good. Sure. So Bones sees that there's a red alert within the Enterprise, but doesn't tell Kirk about it until the physical is over. This seems like a very poor decision on Bones' part. A few moments can lead to a situation ending in disaster or being resolved calmly. Kirk finishes his physical, realises there's a red alarm, and becomes annoyed at Bones for not telling him, rightfully in my opinion. And then Bones responds with this. You can see the alarm lights flashing from there, McCoy. Why didn't you tell me? Finally finished physical on you, didn't I? What am I, a doctor or a moon shadow conductor? What the fuck is a moon shadow conductor? Uh, somebody who conducts himself like a moon shadow? Somebody who helps moon shadows conduct themselves? Somebody who helps moons conduct their own shadows? I mean, I just have no idea what this saying is, and it, it just struck me very confusing. A moon shadow conductor. Kirk then enters the bridge, and the Enterprise tries to escape this cube. This scene is very well executed. The acting is brilliant, they have lots of fast paced cuts in the editing, the light from the cube starts to engulf our characters and the music does an amazing job of conveying both tension and excitement. He is now walk three. Radiation passing the tolerance level, entering lethal zone. Range, 51 meters and still closing, sir. We also get some really nice character moments in this episode between Kirk and Bones. Bones talks about Bailey and maybe the idea that he was promoted too early, much like Kirk, and that he's not ready for the responsibility he's been given. We also get some funny moments with uh, Yulman bringing in a salad for Kirk on Bones' orders because he's gaining weight. What the devil is this? Green leaves? It's dietary salad, sir. Dr. McCoy ordered your diet card changed. I thought you knew. Your uh, weight was up a couple of pounds, remember? <laughs> The Enterprise ends up destroying this Rubik's Cube, which was actually a buoy for a much, much larger mothership. The alien who is the commander of this mothership then reveals himself, and it is the greatest 60s sci-fi alien cliché ever. It is at this point in the narrative that the mothership starts a countdown to destroy the Enterprise. The character of Bailey then has an emotional break, which is a great character moment for him and just increases the level of escalating tension within this episode. What do they want from us? Let's find out what they want us they to want do. They want us to lose our heads. We've Bailey, only got not... eight minutes left. Seven minutes and 41 oh, seconds. He's doing a countdown. Practically in the watch. What are you all out of your minds? End of watch. It's the end of everything. What are you, robots? Wound up toy soldiers? Don't you know when you're dying? The countdown to destruction for the Enterprise gets down to two minutes. 
and the crew were completely out of ideas and have no idea what to do. It is at this point that Kirk has one of his greatest moments. He contacts the ship and he completely bluffs them that if they blow up the Enterprise, a mineral within the Enterprise will explode, destroying the Enterprise and the mothership. Kirk was completely bluffing here, he had no way to prove it and he had nothing else to do. But it ends up working and the alien ends up believing him. Death has little meaning to us. If it has none to you, then attack us now. We grow annoyed at your foolishness. Kirk, Bones and Bailey enter the alien craft. It is then at this point that it's revealed to us that the cliche 60s sci-fi alien was actually a dummy. There are some obvious Wizard of Oz comparisons that I could make here. It's a dummy. Clint Howard plays the alien who was hiding behind this dummy. And it's amazing how much Clint Howard looked exactly like Clint Howard even when he was a little kid. The good Lord chose not to bless me with, with charm, athletic ability, or a fully functional brain. Gentlemen. It is revealed that this weird looking Clint Howard baby alien who's obviously dubbed over with ADR is lonely within the ship. He's the only occupant within this vast, vast mothership and he's incredibly lonely. So Bailey volunteers to spend time with him? I can't think of a more horrible scenario to be stuck in. Spending time with this weird jagged tooth alien baby all alone on a massive space station. I mean, it just sounds horrible. Why would you want to do that, Bailey? Why? Do you know where we can find a volunteer, Mr. Bailey? Me, sir, I'd like to volunteer. Me, sir, I'd like to volunteer. In conclusion, this episode has all of the great elements of the original series. We get to see the crew use their knowledge and experience to get themselves out of a situation. We get some brilliant character moments. The music is amazing. And then there are some tension-filled scenes which have you on the edge of your seat. Also, we get the weird Clint Howard alien movie. Thank you for watching and really help out if you like, subscribe and comment. Until next time, good night. It's much like a Rubik's cube. Ru 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 Rubex 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 cube. Enterprise encounters an object much like a Rubex. Rubex cube. Ru Rubex. Fuck! Rubex cube. Rubex cube. Rubex cube. Rubex cube. Rubex cube. Rubex cube.